This pattern is KC's Stonefly. And uh, I attached a tying thread about halfway and then brought it down to the barb, okay? I'm gonna take a small amount of dubbing, just a little tiny bit, just to make a ball. And you can see how much is on here. And uh, just wrap right in one spot. And all this is gonna do is facilitate spreading the goose bites whenever I put those on for the tails of the stonefly. So I'm going to take two goose bites. Just tear them off. And I'm going to turn them curved side out and that'll help with displaying. So you can see you got the top and the bottom and they're both going the opposite direction. Now I set this right on the side of the ball, pinch and start to wrap and there's the way they should look. You just trim these off. Next, I'm going to take some silver wire and tie that in and then get it out of the road. Make sure that's down pretty good and bring my thread up to the front and then back. Now, if I had lead, if you want to you know, make a heavily weighted one, you could put lead on, wrap around, probably uh, depending on the size. This one I would probably put 0 .025 uh, and I use the lead free stuff. So uh, just wrap it around and then you can take a pair of pliers and smash it flat and that'll give you a nice wide body and the heavy weight. Okay, next I'm going to take some dubbing. I'm going to dub my body. And this is just black rabbit. And I want to make a nice cigar shaped body, keep building it up as I'm going up to get my proportion. Okay, that's about it for that part. Now, take my rib. I want to try to get about five turns. Four and five. Then I take a couple turns and then tie this off pretty good. Okay. So you have that much done. Now, I just to really anchor those wraps of wire, I take a few extra turns around. All right, now I'm going to put my wing case I'm to cut a nice little section. This is a size 12, so probably about an eighth of an inch of turkey quill. Now I can trim the front off and then I can tie this down. And if you notice how the curve of the wing comes up, I have the top part of the turkey quill just tied down. So when I pull it over, the curve, the natural curve of the wing helps me bend the turkey quill over. And so now we'll back up a little bit. And then what I want to do is I make a little loop. We're going to loop dub some legs on here. 
Now I want to take a few turns with the bobbin around and that'll help seal up the gap of the loop and help keep the materials loaded up in the loop. So for these kind of processes I like to take the uh, rabbit strips. It's about an eighth inch wide, that's about all you need strip and you can just trim this hair off and you're ready to go. Okay, just take that, insert that into the loop. And we can take our hackle pliers and if you have a dubbing twister that's great. And now what we can do is just kind of stretch this out a little bit, spread it out, get it kind of even. And you can adjust the length of your legs by, if you can see this, where the, the tips should end pretty much towards the back of the hook. So in that plane. Now, since I don't want a lot of bulk, I can cut a lot of this thicker part off so that whenever I'm ready I have a view that looks like this where you can see the, the hair is all pretty much long on this side and maybe about a sixteenth of an inch or so on that side so we want to twist this up Okay. Now, stroke the fibers back and then proceed to wrap. And each time you take a turn around, keep stroking them back. Try to use up as much as you can the material that's in your dubbing loop. Okay, that should pretty much be it. All right, then pull this apart. And if you can see, just try to even it up. So whenever I pull my stonefly wing case over, It's going to spread out nice on both sides and be pretty much even. Take a few turns around. Now a lot of times on stonefly nymphs you have the goose bites on the tails and you have the goose bites on the uh, front. What I like to do is just trim it up and save these why add an extra step of putting goose bites on when you actually have these here ready to go. So I just take the blade of my scissors and just split it apart. One on one side and one on the other. And then reach in the center, cut that material out. And there's my two antennas or forward bias, however you want to call it, and then basically just whip finish and you're done. And that's a KC Stonefly. Now it doesn't have the normal tri-folded wing case and all that. Y you still have the representation of a Stonefly with the silhouette of the body. I don't think that the, the fish is going to care much that the wing case is not tri-folded, so that's it.